Moving on to race number six, the second leg of the Triple Trio, class four again. We drop down to the 1,200 metres here, the field headed by bullish brother. Alfred Chan taking seven pounds off his back. He'll roll from barrier number three. Flaming Passion, beaten favourite, wide market though, into fourth behind uh, Travel Dartuk last time. Monster Karka second to Pleasant Endeavour. We've got Immense Hedge making his debut. Legend goes his second start from the 1,000 to the 1,200. Fireball, a last start, course and distance winner. Telecom Rocky and the blinkers back on. And down to Champion Pride, close to a class drop here off a mark of 41. He'll jump from barrier number four with Wagner Borges in the saddle for David Ferraris. The stables had a little bit of form of late. Bullish brother, Monster Karka, and taking you further, Mark, of the horses that have been on the ride. And our speed map has a good to slow tempo with taking you further going to the front from barrier number 12. Gets a claim for Victor Wong, but will cut over in front of Bullish brother, who does have early speed also. Fireball, the last start. Winner, Telecom Puma and Immense Hedge. He's on debut wide around Champion Pride. Legend goes. Magic bonus and Telecom Rocket comes back to Happy Valley. And Monster Car Car will drift back from Barrier 11 Ball. Only three starts for Flaming Passion. Uh, he was beaten favourite last time, albeit a very loose favourite. But look, he's travelling nicely. I think he's come on once again from that run. Cheek pieces will be on him for the first time. We can see him working in them and he works nicely in it. Here's the first starter in Hong Kong, Immense Hedge, or first starter. He's by Schnitzel, this horse. He's had 11 trials to get him ready. He's 1,044 pounds. And uh, John Size and Derek Long will team up. And uh, just a nice, quiet piece of work for him. And Fireball, very impressive last time, I thought. Uh, Joe Marrero aboard, even pieces of work for him. He's been coming out of some strong form races and he's been very consistent. So he goes nicely and uh, stretches out well here. OK, well, we'll start off with uh, Flaming Passion. We just saw the track work there. This is his last start effort. And as Paul said, Mark, just his third start. Was favourite here, but he was 5.5 favourite. Just shows how open the race was. And he's improved with each run, Andrew, too. He's been beaten 11 and three quarters on debut, then one and a half. And even though he finished third at his second start and fourth here, he was only beaten half a length. He's got a good draw this week, Paul. Extra 200 metres. Cheek pieces go on. He's the one to beat for me. Yeah, I've got him in the numbers as well. And uh, he was finished a good close-up uh, run there. Fourth, wasn't he? He wasn't too far away. OK, what about Monster Kark? I don't pull him. Running second last time out behind Pleasant Endeavour. Only beaten a short head. Yeah, and it, I think it's good, pretty good form as well because Pleasant Endeavour, I think, is a really nice horse. He's won two from three. Uh, look, the Monster Kark has always threatened to do this. He's still a maiden from his 21 starts. Uh, but he's always looked good, he's always caught the eye, and he almost put it uh, all together in this particular contest. He's just about there, I've got him in the numbers. You got him in, in for third, Monster Carco. I've seen him on the speed map going back, but with Paul around the form, Pleasant Endeavour looks a smart horse, and it's taken him almost every inch of the Chassis and straight to get past Monster Carco there. OK, well, Fireball brings winning form to the table, Mark. This was course and distance last time out. Uh, as a result, though, he's got an extra eight pounds on his back. He does. Uh, noble desire yet to win. He's still a maiden, but uh, Paul mentioned that he's been in strong form races, including behind Fantastic Way, Sight Success. He's up eight pounds, Paul, in the weight, which is the reason why I just favoured Flaming Passion. Now he's had the three runs uh, to date. I'm going to stick with him. I just think he's he's just kept off that uh, really good form against those really good horses, really progressive horses. We'll see on the weekend. I thought it was a nice off win, and he probably deserves the eight pounds as well. OK, all right, final race we'll have a look at then, Paul, is Telecom Rockets. Uh, the cheek pieces he was wearing this day replaced by the blinkers, which he'd worn for his previous three starts. Yeah, so he's another horse who's quite consistent. As you mentioned, those blinkers go on him. Uh, he's coming back here to Happy Valley. Now, he's had two runs at uh, Sha Tin, where he did finish sort of midfield as well. I think he, uh, Happy Valley's probably a better thing for him. I've got him on a minor line, and Spontaneous is winning them in a row at the moment. Found a spot for him also. He's had five starts at Happy Valley and never worse than fourth, so he's a must for first four punters. Fireball, Paul, is the favourite. Sounds like you're with him as well. Yeah, I like Fireball. I think he can go on with it now. He's always had a, a lot of support, this horse. He's finally put it all together, so he's on top to beat Flaming Passion, a Monster Car Car and Telecom Rocket. Eight, two, three and nine. The same four as Paul, just a, a different order. Number two, Flaming Passion is on top. Like the progression he's made as a racehorse, the extra 200 metres. He does carry an extra four pounds, but he's drawn barrier two. Fireball for second, Monster Car Car will be running on, and Telecom Rocket, Happy Valley. Yeah, that record speak for itself, even though he hasn't won there. He's a multiple horse uh, punter for sure. Two, eight, three and nine. Two and eight, uh, my cue there in race uh, number six, Flaming Passion and Fireball, the one, two for me. That'll move us on to the seventh, another class four, back to the thousand metres though for the next.